What's going on guys, Sean Gattier back with another video. Today I got a super dope permed mullet for you guys. You guys know mullets aren't always my favorite, but this one turned out super sick. Hope it's helpful for you guys. Let's get right to it. All right guys, so we got everything sectioned out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and do blog graduation on this side. I've never cut his hair before. I wanna make sure that I leave enough length in this Parado Ridge area. Obviously, it is just a little taper right here. We're gonna deal with the hair behind the ear that kind of connects the taper to the mullet at the end once we get everything laying. But right now, we're gonna set up the blog graduation. You guys are actually gonna see, I'm gonna pretty much cut all this off and I will not do it on the other side. But for safety purposes, I went ahead and started off with that. Now we're gonna come in and take our number four all the way up into that block graduation, get the whole taper area cut down to a four, and then we can come in and start the taper. Now we're gonna get started with our ball guideline. Guys, he wanted a high taper, vertical bars only, no C cup. So I'm gonna start from the top of the C cup, bottom of the vertical bar, go back to the top of the ear. We'll go ahead and bald everything out, come in with our shaver, get it down to skin. Then we can start our first step. All right, for our first step, we're gonna come in with the wall senior lever all the way open. We're gonna go up about a half inch to three quarters of an inch and start our first guideline. And then we can start to work that out from the bottom. We did clipper open at the top of the section. At the bottom of the section, we will start with our clipper closed and halfway into the section, we'll have our clipper halfway open. Once we work through that, we can use our lever to take out any dark spots that are left behind before we move up. Next, we're gonna come in with our one guard all the way open, go up another half inch to three quarters of an inch, making another guideline, then we can start to work that line out from the bottom. After we establish the guideline, we'll immediately come in with the one guard all the way closed, and we're gonna go almost up to that initial guideline. That should leave a line left behind that will come out with the half guard, and we'll be done with these two sections. Now we're gonna come in with the half guard. I always start with it halfway open. And guys, if you're new to the channel, I like to call this the magic eraser. As you guys will see, we're gonna rub this between the two sections that we started with, and it should erase that last line connecting these two sections all together. Then we'll move up. Next, we're gonna come in with a number two all the way closed. We're gonna to try to flick into the four that we started with. If there is a little bit of a line left, we can come in and use our three guard. We'll go ahead and use our two to make our next guideline. The only line left between the two and the one will come out with the one and a half. And as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and use our three guard here to connect the four to the two that we just did. Then I'll go ahead and just continue to work my way down, kind of my second go through to polish everything up. We'll go ahead and take this line out with the three, then come back to the one and a half and take out that hint of a line between the one and the two. We can continue to work our way down and go to the one and the half guard and open clipper as needed to make this side look nice and perfect, and then we'll move on. All right guys, as we move on to the other side, we are gonna do the same exact steps. Like I said, since I've already cut one side, I noticed that really I cut all the way square up and cut the block graduation off. So I did not do that on this side. But we'll follow the same steps. You guys follow the guide below. I wanna tell you guys real quick, this is one of my subscribers right here, my man Brandon. He drove over for a haircut 
And guys, that is super cool for me. I've had a few of you guys come out and get haircuts. If any of you guys are ever interested, just hit me up. You guys can book. Some of you, I'm sure, are too far away, but anybody that's interested in coming to get a cut, filming it for YouTube, I'm always down. So just reach out to me and we can make it happen. And real quick before we move on, I wanna tell you guys, I gotta update you, I got a lot going on. My new shop is opening any minute now. I should have an update video for you guys soon, so you'll definitely wanna check that out. And guys, soon after that, I do have a baby on the way, so I think I'm gonna be able to get enough content recorded to go ahead and keep a video dropping every week, but I just wanna let you guys know that's what's going on. Um, so in case something happens and I don't drop, you guys will know what's up. But we're gonna move on to the top here, guys. He's got a lot of hair. I wanna just kinda of get started, so I'm just gonna cut it all even right now. I'm just taking it about two inches off. We're just gonna start to cut. We're gonna see how it lays. You guys can tell his hair is permed. So as I cut it, it's gonna kinda change how it sits. Um, so I'm gonna cut some off. We're gonna kinda shake it out, see how it lands. We're gonna keep working through this until we're happy with how it lays. And you guys will see it. It's gonna lay a little bit funny because of the way it was permed. He said that, that it was sectioned down the middle. Um, so he's gonna kinda have a split in his hair. You can see it already right there. Uh, but we're gonna get it cut down pretty nice, get it to lay decent, and then we'll move on. All right, now that we're done with the top, I have the back pulled out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little bit of a sharp neckline. Obviously guys, this is long hair here, so we don't wanna get into it too much. And then as I work around the ear, I'm gonna kinda of get some of that hair that's wanting to hang over. Once I unclip this, I will use my trimmer to kind of freehand and shape that hair going back into the mullet. You guys won't really be able to see it, but from the front, it was puffing out on each side. So we are gonna just knock that down a little bit, um, just so it flows into that mullet shape. Now guys, one thing he asked for was some enhancements on the vertical bars. Like I said, he is a subscriber, seen me do some enhancements before and asked for that. So we're gonna go ahead and get him crispy right here. We'll go ahead and enhance this side. Then we'll move on to the other side and do the same thing. So guys, we are using the Sean Cuts Hair Enhancement Card, the Tune 45 Beam Team XL Compressor, and this is the black brown no drip color enhancement. And you guys see, we're just gonna do a nice sharp vertical bar. Like I said, we'll move on, do one on the other side. And you guys can check out the end result. All right guys, there is my man before. Fresh perm, super long and grown out, ready for a fresh cut. And there's the end result, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it turned out super dope. Like I said, mullets aren't always my favorite, but I think this one turned out dope. If you guys like it, please smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this video. Stay tuned, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got lots of dope content coming soon. You guys don't wanna miss it. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you next time.